Alrighty guys, welcome back. We're gonna jump right into this. Try and make these uh, short and sweet. A couple more updates uh, before the car show, Mount Carmel car show. Um, we're pulling the diff cover off right now. We are gonna get the spool taken out of this thing. I'm not sure we're gonna do gears right now just because one, I'm not sure they're gonna get here on time with the whole install kit. And I don't wanna be like in the middle of pulling like the pinion out of this thing and trying to take the bearing off and mess stuff up. The gears that are in that'll work, they'll drive okay. It's just not very that fast, you know, I mean. Doesn't have that much torque, let me put it that way. Um, anyway, gotta get the spool out of this thing because it's like undrivable like I was talking about. So we're gonna get this thing drained and uh, we'll get to getting tires off and making hubcaps and all that happy stuff. So let's get after it. And we're gonna go on ahead and drain this into a bag so I can like seal it back up and then put it right back in because all we're doing is changing the spool out for the uh, original um, whatever, uh, spider gears. All right guys, well this is still dripping. I gotta get the tires off because we're changing the wheels. Uh, get the drums off so we can push the axles in and out to be able to get the pin out and get all the stuff taken apart. So, get out. Well guys, we got the rear put back together. We got oil put back in it. It's all put back together and done. It's time to move on to the next little section of this. One of the things I really want to do is I want to swap over these uh, wheels. So these are like an American racing, I believe they're called like an outlaw wheel. Um, I have the full set of four of those that was dedicated to another project. So I really don't want to paint those. and. Again, like we were talking about, we want to put the black wheel with the chrome center cap, like the little baby moon. I've got another set of wheels. Huh, they're already black too. So we've got these guys. They were on another, well, heck, they were on uh, the FJ40 when we got the FJ40. This was the spare. I still got the other wheel outside. But regardless, this is what we're going to use. And because I've got oh, center cap, we're gonna try and put this guy in here. So, now we don't want these uh, little D shapes all the way around. I want this to be solid from here to here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut a piece of sheet metal to go around this guy. So the idea is, is that it's gonna go circumference of this right here, and then the circumference of this right here, and I can bolt this thing back on and this will be solid all the way around. So it'll kind of look like the front. Solid wheel, nice chrome cap, stuff like that. At least that's what we're shooting for. So let's see if I can cut these two pieces of sheet metal for the back, get them painted black, and then also go knock down the tires tonight. Um, it's already kind of late in the afternoon, so I don't know how much more time I have to work uh, before, you know, obviously life gets in the way, gotta go inside. But, uh, Tires, hubcaps, stuff like that. So let's get after it. All right, so we're gonna cut this guy at like, hang on, like 13 and an eight. And then we'll cut this guy at like, and right about seven and a half. So that should work. And then, like I say, we can pop that piece over this. That'll be the perfect little piece of black. And then that'll go on and woohoo, we got set.
like, yeah, buddy, let's uh, let's go see how that. Look at that. Let's see how. Oh, it's gonna fit perfect. Look at that. All right, let's go see how it looks in the wheel. All right. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. Nice and tight all the way around, then tighten the center up like that. It'll give a nice little dish to it. Dude, you couldn't ask for nothing better than that. I'll paint these black along top. Like, that is friggin' cool, dude. Ha <laughs> ha yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! It honestly, for an old mud flap, piece of plastic kind of thing, center cap, that's gonna look rad. That totally changes how this wheel looks. Like, totally changes it from, hey, I got like an old, like Ford Ranger wagon wheel to, bam! These are just like Detroit Steels, okay? This is how easy it is to make a Detroit Steel. <laughs> Not really, but this looks pretty bitching. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're gonna go ahead and bust down these tires right quick. It's uh, these four right here, and then the other two inside, and swap them over. That way we have the right wheels that we want, which are these guys right here. I gotta do at least one more of these. And then the other ones, I can put that set back together. So let's get the old tire machine aired up, and uh, <laughs> hopefully it still works. Well guys, I'm done for the night. I am fighting this like to no other. Um, long story short, this was like a really cheap $400 machine because it needed a bunch of work. And I thought I got it all fixed. Um, unfortunately, it's now sprung a couple more leaks that like you can hear. And I don't know where those came from. Like I just found there's a piece of hose that just blew out of it right there. Unfortunately, I don't know what's going on. And needless to say, because everything's not working proper. Oh my gosh. Um, because everything's not working properly, um, it just tore up the bead of this tire. And now this tire's junk. Like it tore the bead to the point where it won't even seal to like air up. Oh boy. Let me see if I can find the spot right quick. Yep. Ouch. Let me see if I can get you guys in there. Right there. Big old chunk tore out of the bead. Luck. You know. Luckily enough, I do have another tire here. But unfortunately... It's got a huge hole in the sidewall right here. This is just changing tires. It's not supposed to be this hard. Like you guys saw me fight just taking the tire off. Like, oh boy. So it looks like I gotta find either one tire or at least two tires. Something as simple as just changing tires turns into this for me every single time oh well we'll uh we'll figure it out so i'm done for the night i'll see you guys tomorrow well guys it's the next day and uh, you saw my frustrations last night when it comes to that tire machine and stuff and it is what it is it's a work in progress we'll get it working right but i wanted to show you exactly what happened so as the machine's going around it has to like pull the bead up over up out over whatever you want to call it and this is actually what happened to the bead so long story short it just literally tore the entire inside off and did it there and it did it over here too a big old chunks missing right here too so anyway 
we uh anyway um so now that tire's for the most part 100 percent trash i mean i could put a tube in it and it would still work but we'll see what happens it's actually still a decent tire but the other tire i was showing you guys that had the hole in the sidewall um last night after i went in i started thinking about it i wouldn't have kept a tire that had a hole in a sidewall that didn't hold air like i'd already gotten rid of it so this morning i got up right quick came out here and mounted some tires and whatnot and lo and behold it actually holds air but at the same time <laughs> like the only thing there is a patch <laughs> on the back side but Remember, we just have to have this thing kind of sit up, propped up for the car show. And we are gonna go cruise around Glendale and around Orville, or Orderville, I believe it is. And then possibly all the way down to Canab, stuff like that. So, but definitely cruise around, you know, Mount Carmel Junction. Anyway, um, they work, it, it works. The other one's mounted. So now I've got two matching tires, two matching wheels. So that's all happy-go-lucky. So I only have about another 45 minutes I can work right quick. We had to go to a parade this morning for my daughter's ROTC. And then we got invited to go to a barbecue, which you still have to live life. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go to a barbecue this afternoon. So I've got like another 45 minutes I can do on this thing and try and get something done. We're gonna pull the spring out right now. We're gonna swap all those leaves with the original stack and get the entire original stack put back together, put back in hopefully, and maybe the car, like even with the tires on and set back on the ground because I wanna show you how it looks with the wheel tire hubcap combo from like a side profile. So well, let's get after it guys. Let's uh, try and get something done. All right, guys, so we got the whole stack all changed out. We used all the springs except for one leaf from the original stack. And the reason we didn't use this leaf is it's just because it's, we center it and it's too long. It goes past the eyelets. So from the original stack that we picked up out in storage, this is the longest leaf that we brought home. So we're not using that one. So we're gonna use the original two from the original stack and then the whole rest. So now that should be a lot stiffer up in this section and should make the car ride a little stiffer, which will make it not bottom out. So put it back in, let's get after it. Alrighty guys, just kind of give you guys a quick update. This will be the last little bit of this. So to make an ugly wheel look cool, we're taking this little piece of plastic we cut. I'm gonna shove that guy in here and take the cap. And we are going to stick that in like that. Okay, come on. And then we're gonna grab Socket. And now we got a cool old looking wheel. Woohoo! Well, guys, this is gonna be the end of this video. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get back on the ground. I don't have time, but uh, I at least get to like show you the overall profile of matching wheels. Now, it actually, looks pretty cool. So. Uh, I mean, it's nothing special, but it, it looks pretty cool for, for being what it is, you know? So anyway, we got the spring done. We got the spool taken out of it. Uh, gear rails back in it. We've got the wheels and tires mounted, stuff like that. Yeah, that one tire is possibly gonna be okay, but it only has to work for the weekend for right now. 
Um, matter of fact, we might uh, we might go the old glue tread way. Um, remember back when we were in Glamis, we did the tube and we use these glue treads. These are meant for sidewall repair. So, I don't know, who knows? Maybe we might try a, a, a sidewall repair and just see how long it holds. But this just has to last the weekend, the car show, stuff like that. Hope to see you guys there. If you're going, awesome. Stop by, say hi, stuff like that. Um, if you guys are following along with this project and with what I'm doing, awesome, I appreciate it. If you like what I'm doing, please comment, subscribe, likes, love the likes. Um, comments, I love reading the comments. So if you guys uh, really wanna get into this stuff, let me know and uh, I'll keep you guys updated.